Hello Pisces and welcome back to Intuitive Energies. My name is Jane and I did find that page where I had stopped. Your ancestors are watching you. This is from the Daily Oracle book. Okay, seek answers from your higher self. So I've had the ancestors come in today. It's been a little a little bit of a challenge for me because there's quite a few of them. I feel like it's kind of weird. I feel like they're lining up and there's some on each side and anyway, so they're 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 very much around. Uh, their energy is really intense, so it's hard to speak with them because um, they don't speak. They they just they just kind of hit you with all kinds of of vibrations and uh, hard to explain, but very very passionate and very very um, they want to give they want to give to you a lot. Okay. They're watching you and they're anticipating how wonderful you're doing and how wonderful you will be doing. Okay. That's about as 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 clear as I can make it. So we're gonna continue. So in this morning's reading, if you haven't seen it already, a little bit I feel I feel it's not one of my best readings, at least speaking. Um, I feel like the message was imparted, but basically the owl is showing into the shadows. I love that. The owl is talking about ancestors um, into me I see so looking into yourself to find your treasure and treasure island the moon card came out at the end it's a 1037 a completion of things uh, your moon faces phases uh, faces your moon phases that you're going through so gorgeous and uh, this is you shining. This is like a picture of you and your your life and everything that you've gone through, all your trials, everything where you've shown light into corners. You've had ancestors guiding you and you've had just this beautiful, optimistic, beautiful light about you, Pisces, that ancestors want you to know that even though right now you're going but if I could only find you know that thing that would make me shine further I think what they were trying to impart this morning is that you are shining you've always been shining okay regardless of what you're doing now you've always been on this path and you are a great big zephyr and beauty of light okay you've always held down even on the when you've only had like one fruit from childhood you're still producing fruit even if it's just the one even if you've been battered and bruised this is the card of surviving that and just still flowering still being uh, beautiful and growing it doesn't matter right and you have this beautiful intuitive figure right in the area of your heart okay you've had the night of the living dead is what I keep seeing okay like the night of of the shadows of the pain of the anxiety of the fear and you've made it okay you may not always be fully with all these leaves but you still have leaves left left and you can always see the sun rising so that's optimism of a better day of a new day your heart has not closed okay you're still capable of being um, a force of of, be of having a beautiful big heart and an extremely caring person even though with everything that you've been doing and you're still working hard every day to get to your happy spot to your happiness and like I said you are so you here with the ten of cups okay no leaves to adorn you but you've made yourself beautiful, beautiful nonetheless making yourself original as you can see, the way I'm expressing is a little better because I've had time to meditate on it. So I'm going to pull some more out of this book. I kind of like this book. It's kind of cool. I found it and I'm going to use it and work. Okay. Don't listen to people who explain who you are. Absolutely. Okay. Nobody knows you but you. Ancestors want you. It's kind of funny. I just told you who you were and then this comes. But <laughs> listen to me. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm talking about people who show you the dark side of you, okay? Who tell you, oh, you're a cynic and you're you're always scared and you don't do what you're supposed to and, and you know, what do you know about any... You know a lot, Pisces. You've been through a lot, okay? You don't need anybody telling you who you are, okay? Just keep that in mind. You don't need anybody telling you who you are. 
Be gentle, your precious cargo. Right. Be gentle to yourself, okay? Protect yourself, Pisces. You've done so much for you. You've done so much work. It's important that you are very careful with you. You are precious. And that is, that is the one thing that, yeah, that you have to remember, okay? You are precious. I'm going to shuffle these uh, this way. And you have the moon card underneath, which we had the moon there, okay? So just showing you that. At the, at the split, at the cut, you have the moon. All right, so this is my light deck. We're going to see how we can clarify these beautiful cards, although I think, I think I'm okay now. <laughs> so this is the extended from this morning. If you'd like to go see it, go ahead. You have the Princess of Pentacles. We got her yesterday. She's beautiful. And again, um, this is a card where I got very emotional. This was a card where I was crying. I'm not going to cry today, I hope. But this is you. Look at you, okay? You are doing the work to heal yourself, okay? And it's in the lower chakras where the healing needed to be done, okay? So that you can realize that you are precious. So that you can get out of suspension and move ahead and move forward in your life. Okay? This is also with the Ten of Cups, which is so gorgeous. This is you learning and, and feeling your beauty. Okay? There's so much abundance in this card. There's so many animals of every kind. There's, you've got an overage. You have beautiful butterflies. You have everything here. And look at that. You've adorned yourself here too, okay? So beautiful and precious. This is you, okay? This is what ancestors, you are precious. I want you to say it. I want you to say it to your phone right now. I want you to say it to the TV, wherever you're listening. I am precious. I am precious. I matter, okay? They want you to know this. They want you to feel it. They want you to walk in this gorgeous beauty. Do not compare yourself to others. Do not let others tell you who you are. Okay? You've walked you've walked in the darkness. You've walked in the shadows. You know what that is. You've survived. You've survived. Like I said, You've had hope, optimism, strength, optimism, strength, stubborn determination. You survived. You had your imagination with you. You found happy places. And there you go. These are double cards from yesterday, but we'll we'll take them anyway, okay? This star, this illumination, it's restoring balance in your life. It's making you see sharply. It's helping you grow new branches with a lot more leaves, okay? and happiness and renewal around you that's all I can see all the time so with the help of ancestors with the help of the star illumination you're finding your way you're finding where you need to be where you need to go okay funny because these cards are coming out just like yesterday yeah you have the knight of cups look at that the ace of wands yeah what i get with the ace of wands as well is that you've been damaged and some of it's been caused by you just because you weren't sure of yourself or you were second guessing yourself and you kind of stepped in it the knight of cups that's what i feel it's like your cup was was too big for you to handle okay too passionate, too much, not knowing, too much, too too big of a heart, too emotionally intense, an impulsive dreamer who got hurt. Okay, this is what I'm getting from this one. At one bo at one point, you felt like this. Okay, you felt like invincible. You know, your cup runneth over, adorned in beauty, and then. 
I don't know, somewhere along the way something got, got hurt, okay? That made you question, that made you wonder, that made you, that, that, that kind of made you cynical, okay? In a way, a little bit. Sadden you, hurt you, brought you down. You know what people would say, bring you down a peg, but you did it to yourself, okay? You let it happen, and you let the fear uh, set in. Um, yeah. But what I'm feeling again as the Hierophant came in, I feel like this is the uh, the net and this bird got caged, okay? But like I said with the Six of Cups, this is from childhood. A lot of this is from when you were younger. This is from when you didn't know better. This is when you didn't know as much. This is when people were in charge of, of uh, your days, okay? That you didn't, you couldn't always make the decisions for yourself. But it's time to release those beliefs, okay? You see these stars up here? It's time to release this, okay? You were maybe trapped, but you were not broken, okay? You're not, you're not completely broken. You've done a lot of work. You're in the right spot, okay? There's a small tree growing with leaves on it. You're in the right spot. You're growing along with them. You're getting your strength back. There's, this is all about you being in a mood, completing a cycle, going and getting better as you're going along. Yeah, I feel like this bird is completely stuck. It's been grounded. Okay, this is you, Pisces. For a lot of you, you were grounded. Okay, I'm going to say it again, though. Remember what's yours cannot be taken away. You've been through all of this and you are still here. You are still here. Okay. Oof. Yeah, there's that balance again, and it came out with the Seven of Wands, that tire, that strength. Look, it's like a strength card. Look at that tiger. I've survived. I've made it. The lion, okay? I've made it out of this. I've made it out of this darkness. The boogeyman, this pain. I've made it. I survived it. I persevered. I made it. I met the threat head on. I met the challenges. I was defiant. I stood my ground. And now you're regaining balance. You're regaining that, that temperance. It's hard to Ask on your angel guides and, and divine intervention here, okay? If you need to meditate or any form of prayer to anybody that you believe in, okay? Your guides, please guides, help me. I pray to you to help me, to show me the way, to give me strength. Go ahead and do that, okay? They're listening and they're just going to wrap you up in pure love and pure light, okay? Believe in it. You can. You do. You are. You just need to see it. They've always been there for you. Okay? You just need to feel it. You need to see it. In your mind's eye. Okay? Well, this one is going to knock me off the chair, you guys. They're showing me that some of you have been through some terrible things. Terrible things. 
I've been through some stuff, but there's there's a lot of pain here. Oof. Six of Cups coming through again, okay? Six of Cups, double cards, Seven of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, right. You've worked hard to keep these leaves, okay? To see the new day. You've done a lot of assessment, but look at that. Things are going to start shaping up. Things are going to start happening. You're going to heal what was done when you were young, okay? You're going to heal this, and you're going to find the very best parts. You're going to start thinking of your childhood about the things that were built there. That's what I was talking about yesterday. Go back to childhood to see the things that cannot be taken away from you. All the beauty, the strength, the hope, the, hop the optimism, the survival, your fervent imagination, your happy places, okay? The beauty in everything. Your beautiful stories that you made up, the beautiful drawings that you created, okay? Some of the childhood sweetest friends that you've had, the people who supported you in the darkest times, okay? This has helped you continue here, okay? This has helped you keep your wits about you. But this card makes me feel like you've barely survived at times. But it's no longer this way. You're assessing, but they want you to take the next step. They want you to go to the Eight. They want you to go to the Eight of Pentacles. Do the work. Do the work so you can get to your the fruits of your labor, your treasure. Whatever that may be, okay? They really want you to do the work here. They don't want you to stay in this state. They want you to bloom into that Ten. Okay, it doesn't matter if you have leaves. Don't stay stuck on those leaves. Okay, you can be you can be gorgeous without leaves. Look at you. You can adorn yourself with other leaves. Nature offers you all kinds of beautiful leaves. You can get it from them. Okay, you're not alone. Ancestors are in the trees. They are definitely in the trees. Okay, they're quiet, strength, and beauty are there to help you. Nine of Pentacles. Treasure Island. Key to it is your ability to have kept your heart, your tenderness. You have, you are remarkable, Pisces. You can still love. You can still have your big heart. You're caring. You can be emotionally wise. And this heals people because you know how it is to be hurt. You know that love can heal and help people. And this is what you're doing. And this is why you're getting this. This is why you're going to reap the rewards, Pisces. Because your heart may have been broken, but it is absolutely the biggest heart. The biggest heart. This has given you an emotional maturity that helps others. Okay. Hmm. Six of Wands, the victory card. We had that yesterday and we have it today. Okay. So they're just reiterating everything this week. Okay. This week was a week about rest, but it's also a week of really looking where you're at, where you're going next. Okay. Do you feel the mic drop coming in, Pisces? Do you feel it? Do you feel the, um, the grounded determination of knowing who you are and where you want to go and how that's going to play out? I hope so. The King of, Pentacle, of Pentacles, the ultimate growth. Okay. Um, absolutely. The wealthiest, most successful king in all of the cards. All of the kings. Okay. 
is all about treasures. And there he is, of all kinds. And then you have the Wheel of Fortune here. These are great finishing cards, okay, with this Eight of Pentacles. All of this hard work is going to make this wheel shift in the most positive way possible. You have the Nine here, you have the Wheel of Fortune, you have the King of Pentacles that represents wealth, happiness, not only in money, in anything that you might want, Pisces. This is a really fantastic reading from Ancestors to you. They're showing you victory. They're showing you that you're about to get out of this suspended uh, energy, that you're about to move into harmony, this Two of Cups, right underneath, okay? You are going to be in a very gorgeous and beautiful state of mind and state of energy, okay? You deserve it. You've worked hard for it. This is what the ancestors have been saying right from the beginning. You've been through some awful, awful things. Okay? Except the fact that you deserve to have beautiful, beautiful faces. Right? Beautiful feelings. Remember, the most important part of you cannot be taken away. It doesn't matter what you accumulate over time. That's not the most important part of you. Okay? I am lovable. And that's the part that they really want you to know as well. The less I love myself, the harder it is for others to love me. The more I love myself, the easier it is for others to love me. And for me to recognize how loved I am, right? It's a double-edged sword, okay? The more you know how lovable you are, the more you're opening the door for other people to love you, and the more you can see their love. Because if you can't see love, then you can't see the love coming at you. And you have a whole bunch of stuff. I say yes to being a better receiver. When you are willing to receive, a gift appears. Right. I choose to live life with ease. Life does not have to be as difficult as you sometimes make it complete the sentence. One way I could let my life be easier is by realizing how special you are, Pisces. Absolutely. This has been a wonderful, wonderful reading, and it, this one says, I welcome miracles into my life, so do that. Let miracles come in. Let this beautiful reading touch you in places. Let it make you tender. Let it make you, uh, oh, in French it's a, um, s'épanouir émotionnellement, which means to just, I don't know, just let the love kind of take over and make you, you know, tender of heart and tender of human. Just be a tender human. Let yourself, let love come in, okay? This is what ancestors want wanted to say to you today. Um, I never want to use the word pride because I think it, this doesn't fit because it's more than that. They're more than proud of you. They're just, they look at you and they think, wow, you've come so far. And they just wish they could impart or make you feel just how wonderful you really are. Because you really shortchange yourself, everything you've been through, everything you've done, how far you've come. And they came through today to make sure that you knew that you are destined for great things in your life, everything that you want, all you really need is to um, really make sure that you're looking through eyes of somebody of how far you've come. I'm going to leave you with this one thing before I go. They want you to actually take time and to write down everything that you've been through in life, just point form, and then put it away and give it a couple of days and then bring it back out and read this as if you were reading somebody else's life, not your own. What would you think of this person? Everything that they've been through, everything that they've, um, they've gone through and everything that they've surmounted and survived. They want you to look at it of eyes of somebody who would be looking at somebody else's eyes. Because Pisces, you're always the first one to tell people just 
how wonderful they are and how wonderful it is that they've survived and, and gone through the worst in their lives. You have to do it for yourself now. I'm going to leave you with this. It's long enough. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you've enjoyed this. It's, uh, yeah, it's been energy zapping, but a wonderful message. Take it to heart. Take care of yourself. I'm sending you lots of love, light, and blessings. Take care, Pisces.